People ask me, they want to know, with Earth's gravity well field, can we can compare it to Mars? Do the two look similar? So I'll show you what they look like. Now I'll flash back and forth, and you can see that Olympus Mons, the largest volcano on Mars, correlates closely to Hawaii, or the same line. And you can see even the track of movement on Hawaii is that it's going in the direction of Olympus Mons on the same line. So I just wanted to show people that. You can see in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico, the point where the gravity well field is almost aligns with a huge volcano or some sort of crater on Mars. It's not off by much. And really, if you shifted it over to line up with it exactly, I think it would make Olympus Mons line up with the center point of this gravity well field here. And the only other correlations I can see is the ridges by the equator. You can see that on Mars and on Earth, they sort of make a V right to it with like certain like indents, almost like ridges going towards the equator gravity well. It's actually quite evident on both. Now, sinking with Mars and Earth, if you drained a lot of the water, a lot of this would be land, and then it would actually look a lot more like Mars. So it's just because we had more land at the time, or less land because more water, it's actually making it look less similar. But if we had the same amount of water on both, I think that then it would be a much closer match. And Google is obviously scaling each planet to, to match. The planets are different sizes. But thankfully, they comparatively size the two for us automatically, which is very convenient for comparing the two. So big shout out to Google and their comparisons. Now, I was just looking like you see this ridge line here on the, the Earth. You can see that one align quite a bit on Mars. It's like a crack, the Syria plantis. I never even realized that. And these would be, I guess, the Nazca lines maybe going pointing towards there. Now, one of the other other correlations you might have realized that there's a, a dark spot here on the, the west coast of North America. And I think there's a mountain chain sort of in the center. So it's like a gravity well around it. And you'll notice that spot also correlates on Mars. Not sure why exactly, but... So if anyone else is watching this video and they see some other correlations that they think would be interesting, maybe the Appalachian mountain chain, how there's a dip there, that almost does kind of look the same on Mars. Oddly enough. So, and if anyone wants to help my research, the biggest way you can do it is definitely check out the affiliates links and the more links below. But also what you could do is uh, make maybe make a petition to Google, ask them to add other planets to Google Earth Pro. They have the, the data for all the other planets, but they're only adding it to Google Maps. And Google Maps is useless to me because I need all the features in Google Earth Pro to do my gravity well map comparisons. So if anyone likes these gravity well comparisons please message google and ask them to update their software in google earth pro i even heard there's a rumor that they're going to stop supporting google earth pro and if that occurs that'll be like a disaster and unless we get some other people to make a version of google earth pro separately just copying well not copying but maybe working with them to to make a freeware version or user supported version so anyways thanks everyone for watching this video take care and for everyone who loves Mars, yeah, good luck. Hopefully with Elon Musk's help, we can reach Mars and start mining the shit out of it. <laughs> no, sorry for swearing. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.